and Sapna from Spinayan English Academy. Today in our series Stories of Hindu Gods and Goddesses, I'm going to tell the story of Shiva and the moon on his head. How did the moon happen to be on Shiva's head? The answer for this question is today's story. Daksha Prachapati, the son of Brahma, had 27 daughters. All the 27 were married to Chandra, the moon. Of his wives, Chandra loved Rohini the most. So the rest of the 26 went and complained to their father, Daksha Prachapati, that Chandra is favoring Rohini. Daksha Prajapati asked Chandra to treat all his wives equally. In spite of saying and scolding, Chandra went on showing favoritism to Rohit. So Daksha Prajapati got angry at Chandra and cursed him. As days go by, you will lose your brightness. And so it happened. The brightness of Chandra started coming down and down. So Chandra went and hid in the ocean. When Chandra, which lit the night, was not to be seen, all the nocturnal creatures found it difficult. Their life became miserable. So they started praying to God. All the gods approached Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva, as a solution for the problem, kept the moon in his matted hair and started brightening it. It became brighter and brighter for 15 days. Then it started waiting. It became dim and dimmer as days passed. So every time for 15 days, the moon went bright and next 15 days the moon came light lighter so you know that is what happens in nature the full moon and the new moon so that is the story how shiva got the crescent moon on his matted head there is one more person on shiva's head that is the holy river Ganga. We will see how Ganga happened to be on Shiva's matted head in the next episode. If you like the stories which I tell, do share it, like it and subscribe.